Review and this is episode seven. Yes. Ah, uh, like I'm trying to have like a positive mood and like be uplifting and uplifted in my introduction, but I'm, uh, I'm annoyed. Like always, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really does help um, this channel out because I'm a smaller channel. It helps my videos get introduced to newer people. I really appreciate it um, for you guys to like, comment, share. Even if you disagree with my opinion or agree, let me know your thoughts below and um, let's get started. <sighs> I'm sorry. I feel like Mitchell fucked everything up for me in my opinion. All he had to do, you already said you're done basically with Molly. The bitch done told you she's going for who? She's going with Zach. Why would you pick her? Why would you pick her? I'm annoyed and I'm I'm like, this could have gone so much differently. Anyways, let's get started. So Leah um, had, makes a double entendre in the confessional. She says she has a tie between Ty and Zach. Clearly, you already knew you were going to pick Zach uh, or Ty. And um, Molly hugs Leah when the girls um, are, or well, everyone now is introduced to the two new girls. So, yeah, they definitely know each other. And clearly, apparently, this girl, Leah, um, used to date, I was on Twitter briefly yesterday, but apparently Leah used to date Danny from Uwande season. Okay, so I already feel a ways about that. And one of the things I don't understand, um, why do they keep bringing in, and Ty also knows, what's his name, Toby. Why do they keep bringing in people that have connections with past Islander, Islanders? Like, I don't understand. Like, wouldn't you want this to be more, um, granted the majority of people that are coming on here just want to get their um, subscribers, their social media pages up, you know what I mean? And pop in. However, for me, I feel like it is more natural, not natural, that's not the word. It seems more organic to pick people that actually want to be contestants on here, even if they have the thought process of like, I'm gonna gain followers, et cetera, after this. Like why bring in people that have connection? And apparently, I haven't looked into this, so I don't know for sure, but apparently Molly, who I feel like she's a production plant as in Olivia, apparently she's been on the island or she's been, um, She's dated people from the past cast before. Apparently, I'm not sure. And she went to the villa before. I'm like, how? How? Why? And apparently her mom works for ITV or something. I don't know. I, 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 it doesn't make sense. Like, if you want this to be an organic, like, you know, fun thing, let it be that without bringing in people that are just here because they know somebody. You know what I mean? Anyways. So Ty um, was being flirty with Leah when they were talking. She said, oh yeah, my, my dress is short. I keep having to pull it down. And then he's, oh, get up, let me see what you got. And she spins for him a twirl. I'm like, okay. And yo, <laughs> Ella was definitely being a hawk. She was around watching, you know, making sure what was going on. And girl, you're gonna get your feelings hurt. Like, you already knew this. You're gonna get your feelings hurt messing with a guy like Ty. Like, and it is what it is. It sucks, but it is what it is. And he's been honest. He's told you he's gonna chat on with other people. So if this is what you decide to accept, it, girl, you brought it on to yourself. And you know, I'm sorry to say that, but it is what it is. So Molly feels away. Okay, she pulls back for a chat, and it was definitely to claim her territory. Granted, he's the one that went in for the kiss. And she didn't initiate the kiss, but it was definitely like to be like, okay, he's mine. So other motherfuckers know. And they clearly did it up in the terrace so everybody can see which everybody saw. So I was just like, bitch, you ain't slick and he ain't slick either. But anyways, and also when Zach was talking to her, a little fucktard, he's like, I enjoyed it a lot. Meaning like the past few days they've been spending together. I'm like, even if you're talking about the past, you guys are still pursuing each other right i thought it was weird that he said it in the past tense because i'm just like if this is something that you're pursuing then it should be in the present tense but 
Okay. And Mitch is so immature when Whitney tells him that, or somebody tells him that um, they're kissing, he decides to pull Leah's just to go make Ella jealous, or Molly jealous, basically. And then he's talking to Leah, I guess that's her name, about how Molly's basically doing that because she's, you know, claiming her territory and she sees, um, she sees her as a threat. I do agree with him, but Leah was not impressed with him, and she's definitely not failing him because she said he is too forward at, in the confessionals and then we have ella um and ty chat he tells her um you were in the back of my head still and i was like aw um but then he's like but my, my mind could change <laughs> but then he's like but my mind could change and ella's like yeah it's fine i mean but it's not but you know you were like it's fine but it's like i dare you but it's fine but i dare you you know what i mean all oh, girls we get it i understand <laughs> And then Molly decides to come pull Mitch for a chat, talk about, oh, I didn't want anybody else to tell you, um, but yeah, me and Mitch kissing was basically good. And I was just like, Mitch, fuck off. Like, why are you telling him? Like, I, I thought it was weird. I'm like, you guys already decided you're not going to be together or hang out, whatever. Like, you don't owe him nothing and whatever. And he already knew. So I was just like, ugh. And I, this is the thing I can't stand about her. She has this evil, snide smirk when she's talking. Like, <laughs> and for me, it's more so like, let me go rub it in. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mitch. Yeah, so me and my dude be kissed. That was wonderful. I'm just like, you know, because, you know, I want to be respectful. But she was smiling with that smirk. She was making that smirk the entire time. And it just really grinds my gears. I don't like when she does that. Anyway, so chat and late chat. Leah and Ty chat again. And he tells her basically that things are going well with Ella, but I'm not closed off. I mean, clearly. And, oh, sorry. I, I think I mentioned the twirling thing a bit early. But anyway, so she twirls for him. He says he's not closed off. You know, obviously Ella sees it, which I mentioned earlier, and she's annoyed. Afterwards, Kat and Leah, or Kat and Ella go sit with the boys. I think Andre was there and someone else, someone, someone else, I don't remember who. And she tells um, Ella, like, Kat, or El Kat tells Ella, like, stop stressing. Like, he clearly likes you. Like, just stop stressing. And Ella is, I just feel like she's doing too much. Like, she, I know she's visibly annoyed. But I'm just like, girl, like, don't let him see you sweat. And if he does decide to crack on, like, let him do him. Like, it is what it is. Like, it sucks, but it is what it is. Like, don't let him see you sweat. Don't be, like, you know, making him have all this power, like, and feeling, like, triumphant that you're, like, stressed out about him doing what he wants to do. He's already told he's going to do what he wants to do. So you just have to, like, you know, deal with it and keep it pushing. So Ty comes over now and he asks he asked her like well what's wrong like basically why are you making a face he didn't ask her what's wrong he's like why are you making that kind of face like why are you look all pissed or whatever right and she didn't appreciate apparently that he asked her in front of everyone i think she would have appreciated if he pulled her which i can understand um and she she was acting childish honestly and then ty was just like whatever I'm, like i'm not dealing with this shit and he asked her a couple times and he she didn't want to answer and he walked away like i'm sorry i have to side with him it's like you are being childish in your reaction. I understand you're heated and you're annoyed with the way he's moving, but like, you were warned, okay? But I will say this, and she does mention this later on. I'll go into that a little bit more later. But when she and Sammy went on their date, right? She did, she, before she left, she reassured him, right? When she came back, she reassured him. You know what I mean? And he didn't have the decency to do that. And I think that's where, like, she's feeling bother, bothered by the situation. So in bed, she's still annoyed before they go to bed, but um, as she's taking off the makeup and stuff, talking to the girls, in bed, he says that you're my favorite and they kiss. And I, for me, I thought, oh, okay, that's cute. They like made up or whatever, right? Guess not. Um, and then Molly and Mitch talk about like having a friendship cuddle. So my question for people from the UK, does cuddle mean something different to y'all? Because I feel like they say cuddle when you're just sitting next to somebody. They say cuddle when... Like, it's not a cuddle, because for me, cuddle is what we call it in the U.S. Generally, for us, cuddle is like you're laid up, you know, like either laying down or you're cuddling on the couch like somebody has their arm over you. Whereas, like, a hug is, you know, like this. So, I'm just wondering if, like, cuddle means something different. Like, if I'm just sitting next to someone and I'm not even touching them, does that mean I'm cuddling as well? Because they use that a lot, and I'm like, it doesn't make sense to me because we just use it in a different context. But, I don't know, school me and let me know below. The next morning... They go to their factions, and I'm sure now with the new girls that are in, the factions are going to be different where it's going to be more so like the white girls versus the non-white girls is what it's going to give, in my opinion. But now we have like majority white cast because that's what they want. 
because, you know, the Facebook moms and the CF 500 were pissed off and ITV's like, let's go resort back to what we know, white. Um, I do feel like the fashions are going to change. And I think Molly is not going to go back to her white groups. I think she's going to be friends with the new bitch, Leah, the, the brunette. I don't know what her name is. Um, yeah, I think they're going to go together. And Jess is going to stick by her girls, which is Whitney, Ella, Catherine, etc. And Ruchi, I think, as well. But unfortunately, we already see what's happening tonight. One of them is going home or, I mean, yeah. So Mitch tells the boys that he's on good terms with Molly, whatever. Ty says he's still going to chat with um, Leah, but he's firm on Ella. Okay, dude. And Ella tears up as she's talking to to the girls. And she's like, yeah, don't tell anybody I cried. And I was like, aw. Like, aw. Like, I feel for her. But then it's like, girl, like... He did tell you, he's warned you, but I, I feel for her, I do. And I think she's cool people. And I'm just like, oh girl, I'm gonna give her a hug. And when um, Ruchi was, or Whitney was chatting with Ruchi and Molly, I think it was both Ruchi and Molly that were saying like, I mean, girl, you gotta flirt a little bit more with Mandy, you know, she's, and then she says, I mean, I put my head on his shoulder. <laughs> She's so funny, yo. She's such a breath of fresh air, and I'm so happy she's on the show. She's such a vibe. And then we have Chai chatting with the brunette. I don't know what her name is, and I don't really care. Honestly, I don't think he's... He already said, like, Leah's the one that he's attracted to, basically. I don't think he's attracted to this girl, but Ty is just one that, like, even if he is or he's not, he's gonna talk, and if he can fuck, he's gonna do it. Like, that's just what it is, and that's why his body count is so high, because... He really don't care, honestly, right? And um, Ella and Andre chat, and she says that he hasn't reassured her. And I, I feel her where she's coming from, and she's just kind of like, I want to step off. And I was just like, oh, girl. Afterwards, um, Ella decides to have a chat with Leah. And I think Leah was honest with regards to um, how she felt about Ty and their, their date. So... You know, Ella is like, basically, I'm nothing against you. It's just really him and the way he's handled it. But, you know, it was a good chat. Moving on, we have Medi and um, Whitney going on a date. So they go on a date. Everyone is so happy for them. And, you know, they just bring like a, she especially brings like, a, she is a breath of fresh air to the house. And Medi, I think, is just like the calm, cool dude, you know. And then they realize they're going biking. Yo, I'm with I'm with Whitney, okay? He's like, isn't this, it's romantic. She's like, uh, I felt her. First of all, okay? I don't know why people like biking like that. I mean, I get it. Like, you know, when I was younger, obviously I had a bike. I used to bike a lot. But as I've aged and I have tried biking here and there, it's not for me because it hurts the booty. It is not comfortable. It hurts. Like, I remember... Because I, I like to do a lot of, like, outdoorsy activities. Um, yeah, I, I'm like that, right? And I remember once, like, I had a... This was when I was in university. I had a German friend. And she wanted to do, like, biking. We rented bikes. And we went on this, like, hour-long bike trail. It wasn't even, like, crazy. It was, like, a trail. Girl, when I tell you... And an hour go and back. So, round trip. When I tell you my booty hurts so bad, I was like, fuck this, never again, never again. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And here in France, I've done it like maybe once, once? I've done it once because like I remember I'd gone to a friend's house for a party. It was late at night and it was the easiest way to get home and I um, took a bike. And it's just, it's not for me. It hurts. It hurts the booty. I mean, maybe, you know, I know for people that like ride bikes regularly, they put the little pad they wear the butt pad things or something it's just it's not for me it's not comfortable and i'm not here for that so i was with her where she's like yeah this is mm. but their date was just so much fun and i love her laugh i love her laugh and i thought it was funny when they showed the the frogs fucking <laughs> and i'm like oh the grenouille that was funny to me and they paid a homage i don't know why the frog is linked to france apart from them eating frog frog legs i've never had it but apparently it's good Anyways, so then now Ty pulls Leah for a chat. And Ella goes by the day bed to basically survey them because they're by the pool. And she goes there with Kat. 
So Ty apparently has been ignoring Ella since the morning. Like he hasn't spoken to her, he hasn't pulled her for a chat, and he's just been chatting like with these other girls. So she feels away. And then Catherine was like, "Girl, remember who you are. You are that girl. You're that bitch." Okay. She's like, "Yo, I do. I know. Like I would normally not take this, and I, I know. Like you know, to be with somewhere." To be somewhere I'm valued and all that stuff. And she was just kind of like, if he's acting like this here, imagine how he would be in the outside world, you know? And I get where she's coming from. I really do. So back to Whitney and Medi's date. Whitney was like to Medi, you're growing on me every day. And she's like, but you haven't made me breakfast. He's like, Whitney, I can't make you breakfast. You don't come down till the afternoon. You're always late. He's like, I'm surprised you came to this, to this on time. So I thought that was funny and it was cute. And I think they have like cute banter. Moving on, we go to Zach and Wally. Is that? No, so Zach was talking to the brunette girl. I don't know. She, he says that Molly's my favorite right now. And then he asks her who's her favorite. And she says it's him. Okay, whatever. Then chat, chat. <laughs> and then Ty finally pulls Ella for a chat. Like they sat there, she ignored him. And then he like, you know, probed a little bit. And she basically said, because they start arguing, and he's like, I don't want that. I don't want to see you sad, you know? But she's like, you know, stop trying to, like, justify, like, how I move, well, how you're moving. Like, again, when me and Sammy went on the date, before I left, I reassured you. When I came back, I reassured you. You haven't done that. You've, like, it basically ignored me for most of the day. And, you know, it's not cool. So he pulls her in. He apologizes. He pulls her in. And then they kind of have a little, a little cuddle. So I was like, okay, cute. That's what I thought. <laughs> and I was like, okay, cute. And then Whitney comes back from the date and everybody's happy for them. Medi goes and talks to the guys at the fire. But he's like, yeah, the way I'm feeling right now, I'm about to light this up. And Whitney talks to the girls and they're like, yeah, tell us everything. And she's like, it wasn't a yacht. <laughs> she was like, it was a bike. So yeah, that was funny. And then, yeah, that was it. And then later we see, um, after they've gotten ready for the evening, Whitney, Sammy, and Mitch were chatting about her date. And then they get a text for the recoupling. And I'm just like, it's not fair that these new bitches get to pick first. Like, I'm annoyed. I am. I feel like since of the guys that are picking, let them pick and then we'll see who gets picked. I just, I wasn't a, like, I'm glad things have been sh um, shaken up a little bit, but not to this extent because I don't like that Molly has been saved. You know what I mean? When she could have easily been kicked off this fucking show. Anyways, so Whitney's sound that she was making like her gasp that she was making is me i was so here for her like she is so fucking hilarious so leah gets to pick first and she picks um ty ty doesn't seem excited when he when we found out she was picking his head was down he didn't react like so i give him that he didn't like just look like he was happy or whatever you know what i mean and then Whitney um, tells Ella, keep it together. Don't cry. You're, you know, you got this girl. Keep it together. And I love that. Okay. And I hope Ella gets picked. I'm sorry, Ruchi. Like, I would prefer to see you stay than Molly. But I'm, I'm, I'd rather Ella stay than you. I'm sorry. Like, not because I don't, I dislike her, but it is what it is. And then the brunette picks Zach. Molly shocked. Whatever, bitch. And Mitch then winks to fucking Molly. I'm like, why? And I was just like, Mitchell, pick Ruchi. Oh, before that. So when the brunette picked Ma uh, Zach, Ruchi's reaction and Mitch's reaction was hilarious to me because they looked like they wanted to burst out laughing, especially Ruchi and Mitch as well, but he was hiding it, right? So for me, I was thinking at that point, Mitch is like, yes, bitch, you got your comeuppance. The dude you do want it has been picked by somebody else. Bye, bitch. I really thought his thought process would be that. Okay, and for me, I was like, please pick either, you know, anybody but her. But he didn't listen to me. Anyways, then we have Andre picking Catherine. I think what he said was really sweet. And Medi, of course, picks Whitney and it was cute. And then I wrote, Mitch, you better pick Ella or Ruchi. Sammy picks Jess, cool. And I'm saying, I wrote again, Mitch, you better pick Ella or Ruchi. This fucking idiot goes and picks Molly. Really? Really, Mitchell? You could have had the triumph in this situation. You fucking decided to pick Molly? The producers tell you to do it? 
since she's a fucking production plant? Because I don't understand. Like, are you that fucking ridiculous? Like, the bitch has told you she don't want you. She's gone and kissed the dude. And then you're still going to take her talk about, I had the best connection with you this entire time, whatever. But really? No, rem now, imagine if um, Sammy hadn't picked um, Jess. And you and Jess had your little alliance. And it was Molly and Jess. Would you have done that, the same thing and pick fucking Molly? Because this doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Like, you could have saved Ella or Ruchi. You fucking idiot. So, yeah, he picks fucking Molly. The bitch is saved. And now we got to pick between Ruchi and Ella. And it's the I the Islanders that are picking. And I, I think, honestly, they're going to pick Ella to stay. But if it had been between Ruchi and Molly or Molly and Ella, I'm thinking, like, how that would have been divided. I think because like Molly pissed off like you know the whole house was kind of like in a ruckus because of her and Zach situation I kind of feel like they would have um saved the other girls but then again with these two bitches that have come in because they know Molly and Molly was well, I remember in the morning when they woke up she was laying in the bed with those two new girls I feel like they would have saved her as well so maybe either way the bitch would have been saved and that's really really annoying and ugh. I'm so annoyed. I'm annoyed. Oh la la. So that was it. Let me know your thoughts below. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> and you're gonna be back soon for a new video. Peace out, bisous, and hugs. Ooh, ooh.